Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to continue talking about uh, visualization and uh, working on the data set that I showed you to see how we can uh, generate, um, how we can uh, create graphs uh, with this data set. Okay, so two main packages that we are going to use again. And uh, I'm going to start with generating a data using, uh, let me write down data using NumPy random, random dot R A N D N N and six. And then I'm going to create index for this data set using pandas date uh, range you should remember this um, from 1 1 20 20 and then for how long for n okay so what is n n is uh, the number of arrays means number of rows i'm going to create 1000 uh, rows and uh, here i'm going to say this is a data set with n rows and six columns you can change the columns right let me make it four. It's better. Four is better. Okay, so I'm going to create columns name. So how many columns do we have? Four, right? I'm going to name it group one, group two, um, group three, and group so if I had six uh, columns, I should have six name, right? I have four columns, there for four uh, columns name, right? Okay, so we created index column, and now we are going to set up our uh, data set so our data set is going to be panda data frame right using the generated random data and then index that we created right and then the next argument is columns and we are going to uh, let me here do something so uh, index names so you don't get confused between this argument and uh, what we variable we created here okay so now I think it's much easier for you so these are the variable I created variable I created and then I'm saying columns is equal to variable uh, I created index is equal to index that I created right so I'm creating a data frame using the random data uh, and um, assigned index assigned columns so what I'm going to do I'm going to print the um, five first first five rows right data set dot head and let's say first 10 actually uh, because always I'm choosing five so you don't think that it's always must be uh, five okay so now if you remember cumulative summation this is a method and then I'm going to plot this cumulative summation for each of them and then I'm going to use PLT. Um, where is the PLT? Did I do that? No. Oh, 
okay so where is the graph multi what what was the graphs name well okay here import import map uh, plot lib as library pyplot as plt right okay so now you understand what this plt is here so plt now plot it plot it plot okay so what did i do oh okay so see just one parenthesis i forget here and i didn't have the uh, graph do you see that so i created a data, data set with um dates i'm showing just 10 first 10 rows right showing the first 10 rows here right and then i'm calculating the cumulative sum for each column right and then using plt to plot all the cumulative sum for the columns so for each column imagine we have created a cumulative sum and plotted them right and then here we combined all of them and here is the legend blue is for the group one which is column one and then group two column two and so far so imagine this data set could be like this so uh, people's for example income would be the variable one and then you would draw the income uh, for each year and then uh, how many uh, how many numbers we have for 1000 years 1000 sorry 1000 1, dates right uh, and uh, for example the next variable would be the car price specific car price during all these years day by day date by date right 1000 information and then other one would be like price of house or some other things we are comparing four different variables uh, uh, together during the time right okay so now this is the time series plot again right so what i'm going to do i'm going to well you know what please always remember import all the packages in case you are resetting the kernel and you are starting everything all over again okay so let's go to the path that i saved the data set here and uh, the data set is this one i create i read the data set using csv from this path with this data set csv name and then i'm naming the columns and then header zero because i'm renaming the columns right and then index column column is a state and what else that's it so far right and i created the data set here now what i'm going to do here i'm going to create dates just generate dates for this data frame right using date range and let's say 1 1 2016 because as you know this data set doesn't have columns of date i remove that and then how many how many dates i want to be generated i have 50 states right and then i'm going to 
to 50 here right uh, and then I'm going to say print the data set shape in case I forgot what's the dimension of graph so why do I receive error here pandas has no attribute date range um, should have oh range okay oh I, would, I should not fix it I should ask you <laughs> that's fine okay so I'm going to shape shape gives us the dimension so what was the uh, rows number of rows and columns in our data set in case we forgot okay so good so 50 I wrote down 50 here right and let's continue what I'm going to do I generated dates just just as a practice for you maybe it doesn't make sense at all to have dates um, fake dates for the data set but doesn't matter I'm just practicing to see how you can generate data set generate a column of data set and attach it to your data set so what was my data set name this is my data set how can I attach a column to that in this way I'm going to open a bracket and then writing down the columns name and what is the column that I'm going to add to my data set the column is the dates that I generated right and then now I'm going to do something that I didn't do before I'm going to use panda package data frame to make sure my data set is becoming a data frame so to make sure the data set is a data frame class and what i'm going to do i'm going to print this data set only the first 10 okay so look at this the first 10 states we attached a new column which is the date uh, okay so there are two ways actually I wanted to mention that there are two ways to print a specific uh, column for example I want to print out the column region I can do this I can print the column reg region using uh, dot notation right let me print um, okay so one is this way I can see column region this way another way is print uh, data set our data set and then I'm going to open a bracket and then write down the columns name these are two different way that we can extract our uh, data set uh, columns of our data set or this one so remember there are two different way to extract the column uh, cut here paste here two different ways to um, display a column from a data frame okay so now the next one what I wanted to do well we know that region is a categorical variable we know that uh, uh what is the other variable percentage of graduation minority percentage all of these are 
quantitative variable. And then this one, these two are also categorical variable. Okay, so first of all, I have a question for you, for your participation. How many graph we can use to show a categorical variable? Name them. How many? Name them. Another question. How many graph can be used to show quantitative variable, just one quantitative variable? Name them. So I'm just talking about one single variable. To visualize one quantitative variable, how many graphs we can use, and what are the names of that those graphs. For categorical variable, to display only one categorical variable, how many graphs do we have, and what is the what are the name of those graphs? So this will be your participation point for uh, this lecture. Okay, so I'm going to import the plot, panda, and numpy, and then I'm going to create a sub data from the data set we have. How? LOC, and I'm going to use bracket, all the rows, but certain columns. Which columns? I'm going to choose these three columns, okay? And then let's see what I have here. Print the first 10. Now you will see, I have just three columns here, right? Creating a sub data set only with uh, three variables okay so i'm going to comment this out so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a graph this graph is a scatter plot which shows two variables two quantitative variables together the relation between two quantitative variables okay so f i g figure a x these are two attributes of plot p l t dot sub plot this is a method so this is a method of p l t that uh, we know is mat plot lib py plot and then these are two attributes of this plot so we are setting um, these two attributes to subplots of this plot and uh, now we are creating colors how this is the dictionary later maybe uh, we talk about dictionary dictionary is also a kind of form of data set uh, with a key um, and the rest of information. We talk about that later. Uh, for now, just see what I'm doing. I'm creating a kind of data set for each of um, region. I am assigning a color. So northeast, west, South and then uh, MW, which is the last region we have, and then I'm going to say yellow. You can assign any different color. So I have four different uh, region, four groups. I have four groups in region and assigning each group a color these colors are already defined this yellow red the way i wrote down no capital no you know uh, um, no other way this is the only way you write down blue which is defined in plot and then i created a data set color 
and then I'm going to use this attribute and this scatter which is a method to create a scatter plot to create a scatter plot and then I'm going to say the x-axis of this scatter plot is the sub data that I defined here created here sub data dot this one or what else I could show I could say something like this right instead of writing down the whole thing like this I could write it down in this way and then y equal to um, I'm going to draw a scatter plot of x versus y graduate percentage minority percentage right and both of them are numerical so a scatter plot of two numerical variables separated by actually this one is not separated by by it numerical variables and then quantitative variables right so x y i could say x is this one and y is this one so depends on you how you want to show it and also one more thing in a statistic it's important if you know which y which variable which of these two is a response variable that goes on y-axis if you know which one is explanatory variable that goes on x-axis remember this okay and then c which is for color this is another argument is going to be um where is that region so actually um separating it by region already so what i'm doing i'm coloring the points by the region right i'm going to separate them like this it's more neat right okay i think we are good to show the graph using dot show use dot show to show the graph hopefully everything is correct let's see no what's going on c argument must be color and oh sorry i forgot so in the next graph i'm going to do that in here i'm going to write down sub data dot region dot map the colors so what is this colors this is the one i defined here right and this ax is going here right and then let's draw it now look we have separate we draw a um x versus y with uh, x variable versus y variable separating by uh, region what is missing here there are lots of things missing i don't know what is x i don't know what is y axis i don't know anything unless i say plot x labels this is another method that we can use to assign a name to for example x what was x x was grad percentage right and then i'm going to say plt dot now y label and minority is going to be y axis what else I'm going to use plt.title and I'm going 
to give a title scatter plot of this one versus this one what else let's see if we can draw a legend for this legend i hope it shows that okay so legend doesn't show that um, but i have another trick to show the legend okay so do you so uh, do you see that we have x label y label and the title for this graph okay so you will write all of this down before showing the plot plot okay so now again using another way to draw a, a scatter plot to show the label properly let's see what we can do we are going to again do all of this i'm going to create a subgraph and then i'm going to again have figure and colors right and then what i'm going to do now i'm going to group create a variable group and then i'm going to group the sub data group them by this is a method by what region group the data by region and then now i'm going to use for for key so these are the key these are the key in the dictionary we have here for key and group group is going to be from here in grouped comma group dot plot and now ax is equal to ax kind of this graph is scatter x is equal to this one y is equal to this one what i need okay we should label them label is going to be the key i said key south west northeast these are key mw and then what uh, color should be equal to colors the one i created and the key okay so we are group them by the key we are color them by the key and what we are going to do plot dot show but what do we do before that we're going to copy all the x label y label and title look now we have a legend here grouped and color by the uh, groups of region okay so let me write down here keys are part of dictionary how do we write down dictionary dictionary am i right i don't think so so let me search this oh i was right okay 
uh, part of dictionary uh, colors that I made is a dictionary. Keys are S W North East and MW. Okay, good. So um now I'm going to show categorical variable origin as we know so what i'm going to do because so this is just a scatter plot now i want to show uh, this region using bar graph and pie chart so what i need i need to know what is the frequency of a state that are in south or states that are in W. How I can do that? I can use table equal actually using dot cross table in pandas. So I'm going to use panda dot cross table index is the data set region right column is equal to frequency i'm naming the column in this way i got the region from the data set and then i'm creating the column name because i'm creating a small data frame that shows the frequency of what did I do wrong here now? It says uh, cross tab got an ex unexpected. Oh, here we need S. Okay, so frequency of each state there are 12 times MW repeated in our data set, nine times NE, or we can say. 16 states are on their south category and then 13 states west category so we need this table now what i'm going to do i'm going to create another table using panda to make this a data frame to make the table i created a data frame and then I'm going to print the new data frame I made out of the previous one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to import plot, import panda, and then using PLT figure to open a figure blank figure and then i'm going to use region frequency data set dot f r e q which is one of the variables in the table do you see that um you know what let me create a print here oops And then here, so we can separate them. So frequency is the column's name, right? I brought it here, and then I'm going to plot it. And then what's the kind of plot? It's going to be bar graph. And as you see, I have regions with their label and the frequency on y-axis. So this is the bar graph and uh, I can do the same thing here. Uh, 
and instead of bar graph I use pie chart now here's the pie chart I have I can copy this again and then I design my pie chart furthermore how I'm going to create more argument here this is going to be zero two a I will explain to you what is this and then I'm going to create labels and I'm going to label I'm going to name the labels so maybe you want to change the labels name right later and then s and then w and these these labels name will be in order that you see in here in this graph and w first nurse is so if you want to rename that in order to rename the labels please pay attention to what you already have in region frequency data frame okay and then this is a note for labels right and then what else I'm going to do I'm going to say now I want to change the colors this is another argument and then R for red G for green B for blue and what is C for what stands for I don't remember clay sorry clay I chose it I don't remember okay so you can go to plot this package search this package and search for colors that this package uh, offers so you can find all of these different color and the name they have uh, because you should always choose the correct name otherwise uh, it will give you an error and say there's, there's no this kind of uh, color okay so as you see I put the percentage inside each of the slices and then rename this and then let me say group one then you will see how it changes look changes this way um, and what else oh here 0 0.2 percent 0 0.2 will put the percentage in here with two decimal two digits after decimal on the right side of decimal if i change this to one you will see just one digit after decimal if i change it to three you will see three digits after decimal and uh, so this will replace uh, the percentage for you uh, in the um, in each slice okay so this is for today and uh, I will next uh, lecture I will continue with more visualization and I hope you have your questions for me and don't remember you can label all of them and also if you are more curious about designing these graphs you can easily search this package and find all the arguments attributes methods whatever this package has or lots of help for you. Okay, take care of yourself. Have a good day.